Course 2, Lesson 15 today, we are going to be on page 101, and we're going to start looking at um, an idea of equivalent fractions. An equivalent means kind of equal or equal fractions. So let me give an example of this. If I said 1 half is equal to 4 eighths, is that true? And the answer is yes, and here's why. All we did was we made the fraction 1 half just look a little bit bigger because f half of 8 is 4, right? So if we divide that by itself, we get 2, right? So there is a there is a way to do this. And here's another way to think of it. Okay? How did we get this number 4? From 1 to 4, we can multiply by the number 4. And what we do up top, we can do on the denominator, and we can get an equivalent fraction. So that's what we're working on today. All right? Look at example one. It says find the equivalent fraction for two thirds that has a denominator of 12. All right. Here's what I like to do I like to put two thirds as the fraction that was given, okay? And then we need to find x. How do we find x? Well, we said that it has a denominator of 12. So let's put 12 here. And then I like to put an x or an unknown up here in this spot. And then we can find this out. Well, there's two easy ways to do this. First of all, I could find out what times 3 equals 12, which is 4, and do the same thing up here, which means that this is going to be 2 times 4 is 8. Or... Here's another way to do it. I can do this. I can cross multiply and say 3x equals, and then here, 2 times 12 is 24. I can divide by 3. I can divide by 3. x equals 8. This may seem a little longer. However, in, in other lessons, this one is going to be a whole lot easier um, to figure out very very large numbers okay because you're not always going to be able to see this factorial okay that's pretty easy to see 3 times 4 is 12 2 times 4 is 8 they're going to get bigger this lesson you can get away with it okay example 2 it says find the equivalent fraction to 1 third that has a denominator of 6 well, 1 third equals something over 6. Well, what times 3? Aha, uh -huh, it's 2. So therefore, it's 2 over 6. Pretty simple, right? And the next one says, find a fraction that has the equivalent of 1 half with a denominator of 6. Okay, so we've got 1 half equals x over 6. And we would say that that's multiplied by 3. So we have 3 over 6. All right. There's two answers, and then they said, let's add these. Well, how do you add them? Since we have a common denominator, 2 plus 3 is 5, 6. So we get our total answer. Okay, These are relatively easy. Okay, So now we're going to do the reverse of that. We're going to reduce fractions to the lowest term. So, for instance, we're going to look at the fraction 18 over 24. Now, when we say lowest term, terms. We're saying that th this fraction, these two numbers, can be divided um, by a number, okay, and because they're even, we're going to be able to divide them by 2, okay, and, and reduce them. So what's 2 divided by, uh, or 18 divided by 2? We know that that's 9, and 2 divided, four, 24 divided by 2 is 12, all right, are these numbers lowest fractions? No, they can both be divided by 3, right? We, we know that. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now this is lowest terms, okay? Pretty easy to see this, and I think we can, um, we can do this pretty, uh, pretty consistently and pretty well always. All right. Last example that I'm going to show you is something that is a, uh, a mixed number. So it's 3 and 8 over 12. 
and we want to reduce that to lowest terms. Well, a couple things to note. This number right here, when 8 is smaller than 12, when it's a fraction, this number does not change. So I'm going to put this in red, noting that it does not change. Okay. However, the fraction side of it, we can divide both of these by 2, and we can get 4 over 6. We can divide those by 2, and we can get 2 over 3. So really, our new answer okay, is, put this in red, 3, because we drop this down, all these cancel off, and 2 over 3. So this is our new answer. So instead of 3 and 8 over 12, it's 3 and 2 over 3. All we did was reduced that fraction. Okay, it's pretty simple. I don't think you're going to have any problems with this. And they give a couple of other examples um, with this, but uh, it's the same stuff, just kind of re, re, uh, redone. So if you have questions on how to reduce or how to subtract or add fractions, um, I'd be more than happy to help you with that. All right, lesson 15, that's the lesson today. Good luck.